Hey guys, so today I got a package from SquishyShop.com, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I got in this package is this Boulder Campaign bread, and this is in the light color because I got it in the dark color for my other package in Silly Squishies, I think. And it's super slow rising, just like the dark one I got from Silly Squishies. And the package looks the same. It's a clear packaging with some flowers around it. And it has like a paragraph right here. And this is the back. It says, do not eat moosh and eye bloom. And I really love moosh and eye bloom squishies. Like ever since I got the first round bread, I really, I'm like so obsessed with it. So I had to get it in the light color as well. So right now it is still trying to rise from the last time I squished it and I just really love how amazing this bread is and I just love how soft it is and I love how much it smells like actual bread. It's probably one of the most amazing like and realistic squishies I've ever seen and no this is not an April Fool's joke like in my previous videos. It's just super slow rising and I absolutely love it. And I also have to say, this is pretty well made for a super soft and slow rising squishy because you would imagine a lot of defects to be on this squishy, but really, I don't really see much of a defect or anything. And it just doesn't look like it's going to rise. So I'm not going to wait for this because it would make the video way too long. And for those of you who are wondering, here is the eye bloom licensing. And then of course I had to get the Pander Tabler and this is the long version of the Moosh series with eye bloom and the packaging looks the same except it's in a smaller packaging and this is maybe half the size of the round bread and it looks so pretty and this one doesn't come in light or dark so it's just one shade and it's super slow rising as well as you can see. Honestly, I'm just so impressed with this type of squishy, it's just so amazing. And I love how everything looks so textured and it just looks so real. And here it is. Once I squish it, it's so slow rising, but it's not as slow rising as the round bread, I think, because I can actually see it kind of rising a bit faster. And I'm just gonna give it one more squish and let it rise. And I think like, if you were to choose between the round bread or this one, this one would be better for like on the go squishing purposes because it's smaller, but the round bread would give you much more satisfaction because it's a bit bigger. And it's just really textured and it's so pretty. And then the next thing I got is this Happy Eye Bloom Penguin and it is with the normal eyes. And it is so cute and honestly I had to get this one because the other ones were so cute like this one and this one I got previously. So she smells absolutely amazing just like her sister I would say. I'm gonna say it's her sister because she's the winking happy. And she's so slow rising and so adorable. I would recommend this one or the other one. It just depends which face you like. They're both pretty much the same in slow risingness and it's really sticky and it's just so adorable. I love everything about this one. And I love squishing it like this because it gets stuck to each other since it's so squishy. And it's just so adorable. I just absolutely love this. And then here is the eye bloom licensing. It says eye bloom twice. Eye bloom right here and then it says bloom right at the bottom. And then lastly, I got this mochi seal in the mango color. I don't know why it took me so long to get this, but oh my gosh. I think I would really like this one because I love mangoes. And before I take it out, this is what the back looks like. It says sweet little mochi seals stick together like a real mochi born in glutinous rice. They smell so delicious and they are super soft. These make great fun to play with, but do not eat. Mango's favorite season is winter. And here is the mango mochi seal itself and it smells amazing. It smells like coconuts and it's pretty soft and it's slow rising as well and I don't know what's wrong with this. It's It feels kind of wet. I feel like there's some issues with this. It's really sticky and oily 
so I might have to contact them about this. I don't know if it's because the inside is kind of rusted already, but I'm gonna have to contact them because this is not normal since I've had two other mochi seals and they're not like this, but this is super adorable and I absolutely love it. It's so cute and I wish it wasn't sticky and I don't know what's going on in here at the bottom, like it's not normal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back because Honestly, I don't want to touch it anymore because I don't know what's wrong with it. So that is it for my video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and if you did, please leave me a big like and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much and I'll see you soon.